Hey guys, so we're gonna break down a single ignition source home heating and domestic hot water system. We have a boiler that provides the heat for our indirect hot water tank and our air handler. That means that neither the air, air, air handler, which looks like a furnace, or the indirect storage tank, which looks like a hot water heater, have ignition sources or venting. It all comes from that boiler and it's all fed by hot water loops and coils that steal heat from that boiler. You got this panel ready to come off. What you're gonna see is the blower, if I can get that off. So this is pretty much just a fan and we can tell this fan to operate independently of whether or not we're calling for heat like any furnace system. But this will give you a bit of a look at what an air handler does really it's getting a cue from the thermostat that we need heat on either one of these levels because this is a zone system and this fan's going to kick on and the boiler's going to kick on and it's going to start blowing air cold air from the return side across this coil and the air is going to steal heat from that coil move it up and send it out our supply side ductwork and because this is a zone system you can see a quick example of what our zone dampers look like so we have zone one which is our basement and our first floor and zone two which is our second floor and the advantage of having the second floor on a on its own zone is because of course the stack effect heat rises it's always difficult to close that gap in the middle of the winter or the middle of the summer months when your second floor wants to get so much hotter than your main floor these are both tied on to their own thermostat and it's going to electronically open or close the dampers that run to this supply side ductwork this looks like a furnace it's called an air handler it doesn't have an ignition source it takes all its heat from this coil which is fed hot water from the boiler loop and the boiler heats up the water that's it